Someone's gonna jump the count here. They always do. Mopars, look at them all. Oh boy. Why, oh my gosh. I can't. I, I, <laughs> it would have been a little more than we needed to jump. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> right away. That was a beautiful Coke style uh, fury that was out there. A couple of Mopar wagons, that's the 44X. That's, uh, Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, look, out. look out. Oh, my. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, it up. Whoa, it up. Oh, Weed. man. He doesn't even have a halo. Fuel coming out of the engine compartment. He's out. He's out. He's out. Got out the other side. Oh, man. That was wild. <laughs> I believe that was, was it? Cody Koloski in the 32.5, the bad attitude car. Maybe. Chop's gonna hold that whole car in place with one hand. Oh, don't, that's no, keepers. <laughs> they gotta just get it held up enough they can scoop the other side with the forks. Oh no! I gotta believe they're probably not gonna let him run, right? After that? I gotta believe it. There was a pretty good chance that he was gonna join our cameraman in, in his platform there. Talk about a POV shot. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna try to jump back in? Oh, here comes the famous unpack the headers. You know, they ought, to, they ought to just have a cordless sawzall for this. Just chop the sawzall just, off on Just chop it. the header off right before the collectors. You know? Yep. A set of headers is a lot cheaper than an engine. Come on, guys. Tim's gonna give him a chance here, it looks like. With all the liquid that ran out of there. Yeah. I would keep, maybe keep an extinguisher handy. They got the, what? the fireman's pick. <laughs> So I, I, I feel like maybe it's safe to say that he's not worried about the engine. This guy's overheating while we're dealing with this. Not that I don't want anybody to have a chance, but... Come on. <laughs> we should have a roof <laughs> 32.5. Clay can fly out of there. <laughs> huh. Got the factory rims on the front. Look at that. This is wild. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man! Wow! <laughs> Make it count! 
a swivel, boys. Wow. Oh, Jeepers. Wow. Oh, bad attitude. Here comes the rabbit. He's got a quarter panel full of that number. Oh, oh no. Rocking back hard on that 32 yeah. and a half of Kolosky. He buried the nose of that thing in the back of that yeah. wagon, the retirement ride. Uh, that Mopar wagon, holy cow. Oh boy. Uh, there we are. Okay. So that's the 73. Having a conversation about contact with the 73, it would appear. Myers is in the, the multicolored. Most wanted fine arts machine. Chris Dettillion, the other one. Is Chris okay? You're an outlaw. Chris running uh, for Team Michelle this this event. Normally runs the Iron Outlaw graphics on the side and everything. Yep, I see it on the, the front bumper on this machine. I don't think that's that's it's the, the frame and everything. Yeah, I don't think that's the only issue. This is one of the rare times that you'll hear me talk about the, the wall placement being beneficial in a rollover. In the event, like you said, that he was trying to exit or he was busy inside the car, the back of the car got up on the wall. That might be... He's out. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Thank goodness. That's the third time this weekend already that I've been like sick to my stomach nervous for somebody. And we're not even done with the weekend yet. Is there a forklift rule? Watch out. Watch duck your head. Ooh. What is happening? It's mayhem. Lying with dogs. Frogs falling from the sky. Flip it out of the park if we're not careful. Yeah. Wow. 
yeah. I saw where that was. But in my mind, I thought we were going to drop a chain to the other side and just kind right. of pull it back right. into the arena. I'm going to scoop it. Is that going to count as his fire? Yes. Because it's under red flag, so now he can't come back out. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, well, we're doing a little body work. Uh-oh. 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 Pretty sure uh, it was a pleasant conversation. They just talked about maybe having some tea together later. <sighs> Made a few promises to each other. Something along those lines. Frank the Tank never disappoints, does it, Chris? Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> this is the way it's supposed to be, man. It is end-to-end, -end, wall to wall, wide open. What's going on here? 111X climbing out. Yep. I think 111X is out. Yeah. Which, I, I, if he, I'm not mistaken, we had him out. Yeah. We just, yeah, the next to the car. Took all that time, then he's like, you know, I think I'll get out. <laughs> it weighs options, contemplate things. He didn't want to wait 45 seconds for the next <laughs> red flag. <laughs> Green flag back out. James. <laughs> oh! Is that Myers? Yeah, it was. Myers has one coming. Stay with him. Stay with him. Oh! <laughs> what a shot! Good grief! Oh my goodness! Oh, was that Mark early in the '88? Oh yeah. They're not done. They're not done. No, Mark's in a different class. I don't know who that was. Follow it. Roll over. Oh, I thought for sure it was going over. Caught him right on the right on the firewall. Here comes Myers. The wagon's gonna go get a fresh one. This may just be a competition red flag. What did I say? <laughs> Everybody catches their breath for a second. I said 45 wow. seconds to the next red flag. <laughs> Oh, that's Niles, I think, the 88 there. 88R, there it is. Yep, Chris Niles. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Give me the thumbs up, Caesar. Is that, is that 626 right here? Yes. How come I can't find it? It's Mason list? Foster. Thank you. I had him at 726. Who did that? Whoever gave us this list. <laughs> They're not here to defend themselves. <laughs> we'll go with it. It's all done. 32 and a half. Yeah. And 
might be minus Myers 21. <laughs> uh, that's McGee in the 21X. And also the 9929 looks or 9919 Travis Crawford. He's got some issues developing up, developing up there at the top of the track, up in smoke against the wall. That's the um, Red 86, perhaps. 86K, Elmer Kinney might be out. That's Colton. Well, that's Colton's door. I don't know. Colton Crooks in the 16. Yeah. Wow. Whew. Just shaking the head. <laughs> Looking at it, just shake the head. <laughs> what else could you possibly do? <laughs> Can we confirm that the 74 was out there? I do not remember seeing Taylor St. Mary pull out. Okay. Oh, 21 is still rolling. 21X, I marked them off. He took that huge hit from the 73. Thank you. It was a white Cadillac. Oh, okay. Is I think that's Jeff Mark up there on the wall, the orange machine with no front bumper. Thank you. Shot on the nose of the retirement ride. That's the 48. How Sorry, come everybody Steve that drives shocker wa or Y frame wagons don't use the back? It's a Mopar. James is out there. James is in a gray 22. I think he's in a football window Lincoln. That's St. Mary with a hit there. That's James up there against the wall in the gray. He's battling out with that 68D, Caden Barney. Running the soft suspension. Good choice. Let the body move, take some of that stress off of the frame. See the back end. <laughs> Man. Uh, the 212 just went across the track a little bit ago. That's got the same yep. paint scheme on it as Colt. Have to. 
Is that steam or is that fire right there that I'm looking at right in the front? Okay. Well, the way the light's hitting it just looks freaky. slow down a little bit just because there's, no <laughs> there's nothing to drive. <laughs> there's nothing left to drive. Adrian Gilbert checking on Rabbit. Really? And Rabbit's going to potentially exit the car with a fuel situation. They say 48 was out in that mix, too. Chris Church. He called out a bunch of numbers. I heard him say Junior Mall, too, which I thought he was doing all right. So... I would just like to point out that Adrian Gilbert at this point looks problematically healthy. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many healthy cars out there. He has done enough to stay invisible at this point. Yeah. And that car, That driver has found plenty of success in this class yes. in the past. Rabbit going to be escorted off. That car, he said, was the freshest, cleanest, most bestest shocker that he's ever had. Yeah. And it was gorgeous sitting there in the pit over with um, Junior Mo. Junior Mo, yeah. But he, you know, he quantified that statement by also stating that he doesn't like Mopars. size of the left rear tire on that wagon. That's one of the Tustin machines. Yeah. And uh, furthermore, look at how high the quarter panel has gone yeah. over where that tire is sitting. Uh, yeah, he's out. Pretty yeah. sure that 48's all done. Yeah. I think we're going to be somewhere around four. 212 is out of the car. I heard Mark Elliott call him. Wow. Not much left. Nope. And when we went to this red flag, the 74, was still running. But he was having issues. He yeah. had backed up to that spot and, and the car was laboring. He kind of idled up to that spot. Yeah. Steve Sickle's got to be disappointed with that run. He was <clears throat> protecting the nose pretty well and then he just got got punted to the wall and parked on with that dead Mopar wagon. A couple of those cars now have refired. Lincoln's once again the cars of choice for 
James and Adrian. Remember the show that they put on finishing things off yeah. last year for the Frank the Tank feature. 74 was able to refire. Niles is also still in the mix. That's the... Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good for St. Mary right now. Well, if you don't have it yet, get your popcorn ready because it looks like this is going to take the shape of the team feature right here. Two cars left with uh, similar fonts for their numbers and two Lincolns. Here comes Dick of Epex. He's backing that thing up, trying to find some room to run. Rocks the number 88 of Niles. Somebody just lost a tire. Oh. Niles quick to answer. It's not a driver's door hit if you do it from the passenger <laughs> side, right? <laughs> I suppose not. Shadow looming. Come on. I mean, I have steering gear over there. He was trying to get there. Oh, he got there all right. Come on, Adrian. Air hook's pretty good. Knock him loose. Oh. He got in the binders enough to not knock him loose. Just push him over. Just push him over. Get over there. Rocket, rocket, rocket. One more. Whew. They took the stick down on the 88. Stick down on the 88. I knew he had to be getting yeah. low on time. 68's got a seatbelt this year. <laughs> Convincing the officials he's fine, but look what he's doing. I think he's telling him to wait. Don't start. <laughs> he's, he's stuck in his seat or his seatbelt's on. Random crew person <laughs> helping out. Uh, was that the gentleman who exited the 88? Yes, probably. Niles? I think he's stuck in the door. There they go. Tim's like, you gotta get off the track, buddy. You think you called him over to help tighten the belt a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get wild, folks. As if it wasn't already. Look at the header. Nope. No. Nope. I just think that it shifted a lot. Yeah. 
<laughs> Anybody uh, feeling a little deja vu right now? All over again. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you that didn't watch last year, you're probably having some Luja day. The feeling where somehow, somewhere, you've never seen this before. Feels great. Oh. Bring it home in a basket, James. Fits a lot better on the trailer after the show. <laughs> we've seen that before. Fist bump the fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> James. <laughs> the Derby Orphan. locked up now. <laughs> Push him right through. We'll knock him out of there. <laughs> Look at this car. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Pretty sure that was mutual. At least that's the clock, right? Yeah. Sounds like no transmission or drive shaft. Is that the torque converter laying on the track right there? <laughs> Adrian, Adrian, don't don't kill your friends, man. Yeah. I thought he was gonna get him again. <laughs> <laughs> Frank the Tank. <laughs> 